Well, I mean, crap. I uh, was doing some digging around, and I found something that you guys might just find interesting. This is a stereo. I, yeah, I don't know. It's crazy. It comes with uh, the mirroring ability um, to where you can use your phone for stuff on it, you know, like normal. It comes with a camera uh, and a remote for whatever reason. The thing is $36. If this thing works at all, <laughs> it's pretty impressive. I mean, it does come with a camera with LED lights. So it would work at nighttime, which is just bonkers. So I was reading through all the functionality on this, and uh, yeah. I mean, okay. Android Auto and all that is cool, but the thing that's important here is this. Mirror Link. And what Mirror Link does is allow you to literally mirror your phone onto the computer. So anything that's playing, anything that's showing on your phone screen will show on the, on the, uh, the screen instead. Everything. The time, icons, video... Whatever you've got on your phone will show here and be functional here. So you can use the buttons there. Which means you can watch video, you can uh, handle calls, uh, music, all that will just boom, boom. One and the other. Same thing. Just extend your phone screen to your dash. Another cool feature that I noticed on this is it's got an actual volume knob. It's got track skip knobs or buttons. It's got a physical button for power. It's got a, uh, a uh, what do you call it, a memory card slot on the front. It's got an aux plug on the front. It's got a USB. It's got a USB plug on the front. Right there handy. I mean, look at that. So you got your USB, you got a microphone down there, built in, got an aux, memory card, all on the front panel with a volume control, and track skip buttons, all the buttons on the front. It's got a decent looking radio software, uh, Bluetooth connectivity, screen mirroring. <laughs> Screen mirroring for $36. I mean, wow. This is crazy. Uh, the navigation function isn't built into the radio. That's a screen mirroring thing. So you use your phone to mirror to this. And then you can use your phone's navigation and have it on the screen on a radio. That's what it boils down to. It's a, essentially, it's a keyboard, mouse, and a, and a monitor, you know, in that regard. It shows your phone on the screen, allows you to interact with your phone on the screen, and, uh, and does those tricks. Wireless audio streaming, built-in microphone for hands-free calls. Um... Of course, your your uh, GPS will come over your speakers, you know, so when you're hearing that, it'll come over your stereo speaker instead of your phone speaker. A 7-inch screen, night vision camera, uh, and it gives you a 12-month replacement lifetime technical support. So 12-month warranty with lifetime support. Now, I wouldn't put much faith in the support or the warranty. But for 36 bucks, you know, I mean, <laughs> what are you going to ask for? Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of nuts, man. It's kind of nuts. So, 
you guys are looking for a stereo and you're on an extremely low budget I, I can't not recommend this I was reading through it and uh, it's it's pretty impressive I mean what do you <sighs> the price is just bonkers 36.79 Podafo I, I don't know but they do have 2,307 global ratings, and they have four out of five stars, almost four out of five stars for, uh, uh, for this company. And, and there's lots of ratings. I mean, they got reviews in here, lots of reviews. Uh, I don't know. Here's a bad one. This is absolute garbage. I'd give it one star. I'd give it zero if I could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear that a lot. It was cheap. Poor connectivity. And when it does connect and play music, it's very glitchy. The glitches are split second but noticeable. And I can tell you right now what that is. This problem right here, this problem is a Bluetooth issue. Um, usually it's... Uh, it's on the phone side, but uh, just keep that in mind. That's a Bluetooth software issue. That's what causes this problem. This guy says, don't buy it for the camera. Radio works well. Paid a mechanic to install it. Well, <laughs> that's why it took him three hours. A mechanic. Okay. Uh, try to get the camera connected. Camera will not connect. I messaged the company. They sent another camera. Mechanic again to install. Yeah, mechanics are not who you want to install your cameras uh, and your stereos. But anyway, I digress. Um, but, you know, I mean, not uh, not bad. This person purchased it a year ago, and for their van, straightforward install, reuse mounting brackets, trim ring seals, yep. Included backup camera was just long enough to mount the camera uh, above the plate on the back door. Backup camera is my primary reason for purchase. Uh, rear visibility is very limited. The camera does what, it, what I need it to do. It has some window grates. It has some distance markers on the screen to help you judge how close you are to an object. Um, Bluetooth seems to work very well. I have an old iPhone. Um, it's paired without issue. I don't use hands-free calling or whatever. Yeah, you know, blah, blah, blah. The music is brought through Bluetooth. The tone controls are very basic, but they do what they're supposed to do. Um, the stock forward speakers are sufficient. So, I mean, uh, there's quite a write-up here. But uh, the main thing we're, we're looking at is the fact that the few issues they've had is mainly people not installing things properly. It's got good reviews, overall good reviews. You got your camera wires, camera, whole setup, 7-inch screen, phone mirroring. I like the mirroring function. That's my favorite thing. Uh, I don't know what it looks like. I don't know what the screen looks like, but the reviews seem to be positive for the most part. So if you guys are looking for an inexpensive way to uh, to have a stereo upgrade, this little guy right here, this little Profo, Protofo uh, car stereo, double den, 7-inch MP5 player. I'm not sure why it says MP5 player, but uh, touchscreen, display, Bluetooth, multimedia, supports SD, USB, SD, aux in, double den, uh, all the stuff. For 36 bucks, it looks to me like a good deal, and uh, I could recommend it, especially given the price, because you're not looking at a big price here. You know, if if, uh, if you manage to break, you just buy two of them, or three, or nine, or ten. <laughs> um, I've used inexpensive stereos like this before, and I've had good luck with them overall. 
what tends to fail for me, uh, two things that tend to fail whenever I've used these types of stereos in the past. Not this specific one, mind you, but this, you know, this uh, generic uh, stereo. Uh, one was the screen. One failed in the screen, and the screen just broke. It wouldn't display right anymore. It had all kinds of weird colors going on. And um, the other problem is a uh, fairly high floor noise. But it depended on how you hooked it up. Um, hooked up to the speakers, it was fine. Using the line out on it, I got some noise on the rear channels, but not on the front channels. It's, it's hit and miss, I guess. So messing with these, you know, the sound on both of them was great, though. Both the ones, even the ones that the ones that messed up, when I got rid of the floor noise issue by using just the front channels, the sound is phenomenal. Same way with the one that had the bad screen; it sounded amazing. And I'm very picky about my sound, so I'm not. I, I don't know. If for 36 bucks, it's worth giving a try. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Let me know and comment. What are your thoughts? $37. <laughs>